You know, I don't know if any of you have ever experienced depression, but I can tell you this. For those that have it, depression is a real, you know, place. It is a real uh, 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 mentality to be resting in. It is a real uh, uh, state of being. It is a real place. Because a lot of people that haven't experienced the bottom, and when I say depression, I'm talking about the bottom. You know, it's like it's like if you haven't, it's like if you haven't been in that situation, you really, you really don't understand, you really can't feel a person that's talking about that hard time they went through. You know, like like if you're talking to a homeless person, if any of us that have never been, I'm talking about homeless, like living on, on the street homeless, like if you've never experienced that and someone's explaining to you their situation. You really don't understand the place they're coming from. You really don't know. I mean, yeah, you can sympathize and empathize and say, you know what? Yeah, this is a bad condition. Like you're sleeping on this rug under this bridge. Like, damn, that sucks. But until, until your feet have been in those shoes, you really have no idea what that person is talking about. So anybody that hasn't experienced the bottom or, or, or depression, I'm going to tell you, brother, it's a real place. And no, I wasn't like clinically diagnosed with depression because I think that's a re that's a real, you know, but I can tell you this, man, like I was experiencing hell and I understand that whatever this energy I was soaking in, I understood that there was nothing lower than that. So I feel I can easily call it a depression because there was nothing lower than the place of, of, of where I've been, where several people I've talked to have been. Right. So it's a real place is all I'm talking about. And I don't want to sit here and talk about depression. But what I want to talk about is that state just above depression. I want to talk about the storm, you know, because the bottom is the bottom. When, when you're at the bottom, you're waving the white flag. It's a wrap. You, you've already tapped out. You're done. But in that storm, I'm going to tell you this, brothers. If you can really understand what's taking place in that state just above the bottom, if you can understand what's taking place uh, in that state, you know, you know, uh, 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 the storm, brother, you have a much better understanding about the ebbs and flows of this world, man. The process of this of this world, the swinging of the pendulum, it'll all make sense if you understand what's taking place in that in that in that storm, brother. But the first thing is, you know, it's almost like when we get in that state, the storm. And let me be clear: when I'm talking about the storm, I'm talking about this place. I'm talking about the place when. You know, when life is good and you say, you know what? Okay, this is the time. It's, it's time for me to elevate to the next level, right? And, and you make that game plan. You create that person and you take one step toward it. And it's like, and it's like the bottom falls out. It's like, it's like now you're in free fall. What, like life is happening, you know, you know, in a not good way for you. You know, you might see yourself in a situation where, I don't know, losing your job or uh, uh, Bills are coming in or relationship is going sour or kids acting up in school. Just just all parts of chaos going on. Right. You have to understand what's taking place. You have to understand what's taking place. First off, first off, th first thing you have to understand is that you can't forget the fact that we create our own lives. You know, we always say things like, you know, man, man, you know, man uh, doesn't create what he you know wants. He creates what it is. We say all these things. But you have to remember, guys, ultimately, we are creating our own lives. Like, we can never forfeit that knowledge. We, we can never not stand on that. Once we not stand on that one time, we, we've dissolved it all. We have to understand that whatever is coming our way, brothers, whether it's the good, whether it's the new job, the promotion, the baddie, I got married, I got a new. All the good and all the bad, we have to take ownership of it. So the first thing is, that's, that's kind of what keeps a person poised. When they can look around and say the chaos and they can say, you know what? The intelligent mind will say, you know what? Okay, if I'm creating everything, I created this for a reason. Like, like I wouldn't just specifically put myself in hard times. Like, this has to be a reason. You have to understand that, man. You have to understand that. You have to understand, too. And we've always heard this. We've heard this growing up our whole lives. All things work for the good, right? I don't know if that's a Bible verse or just something people say it in, in, in the Southern Baptist churches, right? All things work for the good. Yeah, that's a Bible verse, right? I don't know what it is, but we have to remember that, man. If we can remember th those two things, that will be enough to keep us sane in the chaos. That will be enough to keep you sane. Understand that you created it and understand that this has to be working for my good. 
all this stuff going on, like, like I have to see it as something good, right? That'll keep you sane, man. But ultimately, man, you have to understand what's really taking place. You have to understand what's really taking place. And what is taking place is the subconscious mind has taken over. Understand what I'm saying, man. Understand, understand what I'm talking about. Like when I talk about the creation, uh, creation process in, in the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, understanding what I mean. When I say the conscious mind, I'm meaning this carnal self, this ego. And when I say the subconscious mind, I'm talking about uh, uh, I'm talking about that higher self. I'm talking about that Christ. Right. I'm talking about that, that part of us that resides in the all, which is timeless, which is spaceless, which is, you know, like I'm talking about that, 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 you know, that process of creating, uh, of uh, communicating with God. That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying that, that higher self or your subconscious, right? You have to understand that that part of you has taken over the whole situation. That part of you is saying, you know what? We've heard your request. We, we've seen that you will take one step in that direction. Now we have to, now we have to make things work. Now we have to create this. And you have to understand this brothers. And we've talked about it. You know, we can sit here and say, you know, elevation requires separation and all that good stuff. And those are facts. But brother, there is no elevation, uh, no, no, no elevation without first going through the fire brothers. You must go through the fire to elevate. There is no other way. There is no other way. See, a lot of people think that the success for people, some people is just like a straight line. No one progresses like that, brothers. No one progresses like that. It's all about progressing and, and relearning, coming through the fire. Because what the subconscious knows is, one, you know, my carnal self, my, you know, the third dimensional part of myself, my avatar, doesn't know how to do that. Because if it did, then we would already be in that place. So the first thing I have to do is, is bring them through the fire to get rid of all this old thinking. This chaos, this chaos you're seeing in your life, brothers, it, the storm, right? It's to purify you, man. It's to say, you know what? Okay, everything that I thought I knew, right? First, let's, let's get rid of all that stuff. Let's put me on a clean slate, right? That's the first thing you have to understand, man. That's a part, that's a part of purification. But the second thing, the second thing that most people don't, don't get, man, the second thing that most people don't understand about what's supposed to be taking place in the storm like, like this is when, this is when you're in the heart of the creation process. You know what I'm saying? This is when you're in the, in the heart of it. This is when you're supposed to be in your prayer. This is when you're supposed to be in that. I am 24 hours, man. And I say this brother, I tell brothers, the only thing that keeps us, the only thing that, that, that keeps a man from, from walking in that and creating that is, is having mind over matter. In other words, to be able to see this storm, to see the bills, to see the wife walk out, to see the job hang you a pink slip. In order to in order to be in that and walk in something different, brothers, brother, it's simply a matter of mind over a uh, mind over matter, right? And I always say, man, that the only thing that separated the prophet from the common man is the ability to do that. You have to understand, man, that when you're in that storm, it, it's, it's not about it's not about surfing that wave. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not about. It's not about uh, 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 attaching your energy to those things. That's when you separate, man. Like, like, let them fall. Let the house burn. And that's the thing is, you're still attached to those things, man. That's when you separate them from those things, brothers, and create a new. And create a new, man. And I'm, and I'm, you know, brother, we can't talk about this enough when it comes to the creation process, man. To, to walk in that new I am. You know what I do, brothers? I try to walk every day, man. At least, at least uh about three miles. If I don't get a quick jog in, if I don't, if I don't live some, at minimum, I'm gonna walk, brother. And I'm gonna tell you what I do on my walks, man. For for half my walks, uh, for about one and a half miles, I'll I'll listen to some music, get into an energy, and I'll create a state. I'll create a state around me, I'll create a mentality, I'll create a world around me. I'll create a new I am. This is what I do every day, brother. In the second half, you know, you know, I'm cutting my music off. I'm going into the silence while I'm still walking. I'm listening to the birds, man. And I'm connecting with that inner, that, that sanctum sanctorum. And I am walking in that new energy. Like I